Tell me for real, I need to get my stock options in for the week. Is this the next Tesla or is this all hype? This video is going to be up to the point. We're going to check out, is this hype or are they going to be really next Tesla of aviation? Dude, let's get right into it. This is two random dudes. Invest! My goal is to share what I've learned with you so we could grow stronger as investors together. Cool, 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 cool. Are they the next Tesla? Let's do it. I'll tell you the answer right away. I think it's a yes and a no. It just is what it is. Do they have the resources of Tesla right now? Do they have a lot of people who want to work for them? They're not at the level of Tesla. By the way, we have a full in-depth analysis on Ehong. I go deep into their master plan and the catalyst to watch. Check it out at the end of the video. But a lot of this actually lies in how good the CEO and the company is to making Ehong like a brand and a company that people want to work for. Will people get excited to work for them to be a part of their journey? It's going to make some flying vehicles. It's going to be cool if they don't make a big statement on what they stand for. Anything that really drives their brand. I don't think they're going to be the next Tesla in terms of brand and recognition. Well, hell, Tesla is planning to build its own EV toll vertical takeoff and landing vehicle themselves. So it's kind of hard to say that is EH going to be like Tesla, but they have the potential for it. And that we can't really say about the other players in the game. Are they going to be able to take their first mover position and be able to innovate and create new exciting products in the next 5, 10, 20, 30, 100 years? That's the big question. I don't know the answer to that, but I'm definitely going to be researching more and more about this. If you want to share something with everybody, share it down below. Another key part of whether they're going to be the next Tesla is how good is their autonomous flying technology? It's nice to have flying cars, all the mechanics and engineering. But if a company doesn't have the intellectual property of the autopilot tech, it's not going to go anywhere. A lot of their competitors are very cool, but they don't got AI autopilot to fly around. They don't got that yet. That's what differentiates Tesla from other competitors is how good is their tech and their intellectual property and their autopilot. In this race to aviation, Kathy Wood from ARK Invest said this about cars. This also applies to aerial vehicles. So in the end, there's only going to be a handful that will survive in this race. Everything else is going to just fade away. And unless they screw up badly, they're going to continue being the leader. That is why Tesla is top dog. <laughs> Sorry, wrong clip. Here we go. <laughs> Look at it go. <laughs> ah, that top dog life. Let's carry on. They are at the forefront of electric cars, and that's why they're just growing and growing and growing because they're the leader. So if Ehong continues to be the leader, then they're just going to grow and grow and grow. Their share price is going to go up. They're going to have more capital. It's like going to be a snowball effect. That is exactly the type of company that is good to bet on. But they're trading pretty high right now. But I'm going to give you my thoughts in a second. Ehong is going to have that first mover advantage. And another important thing is a lot of these aviation standards are actually getting developed with the companies developing the planes because these are actually new technologies. There's a lot of new tech that needs to have new regulations. And that's why it's key that Ehong is actually taking part in this research group in Europe that they just joined on February 8th. Who is Ehong for? Who's the target customer? Right now, it's really high-end consumers for city mobility. Their goal is that it would cost the same thing as if you would took a cab across the city. Just take one of these vehicles, fly across the city. It can be faster, much better experience, no traffic. That's the whole point. So right now, it's for more 
high-end consumers and the more of these vehicles are going to be in the world through economies of scale it's going to trickle down and eventually it's to be as cheap as a cab as crazy as that might sound that is literally a possibility and the goal for this technology final note in my research is that multimodal booking systems are going to be very critical in the future with a couple of taps you'll be able to take a cab that will pick you up bring you to the heliport and then the heliport will bring you somewhere else different types of mobility vehicles all integrated into one app just to make it super easy for us the consumer that is actually already in the works the question i'm wondering is will ehong want to make their own platform and just stay in their own system or are they going to partner with uber aviation and mainly depend on that i think it's going to be maybe somewhere in between but there is a chance that if they actually make their own system it's definitely going to make things a lot more interesting uber aviation is actually owned by joby which is an american company so that's going to be interesting and on that note Is it too late to buy into the company? Hopping into trading view. So we got Ehong Ra here. So this thing was trading at $10 around last November, which is insane. Almost went bankrupt last year or in the last two years when they were focusing on their gross drone, which is a competitor to DJI, which never happened. But then they focused onto these flying vehicles and that's when stuff went up insane insane action and it went down it went to 60 went back up consolidated made this beautiful triangle right there the old bull flag so this is a typical bull flag which means that it pops up bounces around doo -doo 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 -doo, and then it's gonna either usually go down or up and i actually found out only about this company right here but i wanted to do my due diligence and that's why i actually did a lot of research in the last couple of days to, to be able to make a better decision on this company as i'm actually explaining this video i get more and more pumped up about this company because it's like it's like clicking it's clicking so the question to ask is what catalyst would be needed to get this price higher than 120 to get it to 200 150 right now it's considering the specialty uses of these vehicles but if ehong is able to become a top dog <laughs> look at it go <laughs> sorry couldn't stop myself do like the video if you want to see more of that dog but but seriously now make an app something along the lines of an uber app that whole thing can bring them to another level of market cap but that is in the future but you got to keep in mind we are right here i'm not a financial advisor i'm just a random dude on youtube investing i wouldn't recommend loading the boat on ehong right now it is a highly speculative play they only have 20 vehicles delivered right now maybe once they have the factory built and producing hundreds if not thousands of vehicles at that point it's another story that will fundamentally change the business at that point it's gonna be less of a risky decision the best investors are the ones that invested a long time ago so at this point it is a dangerous time to get in i like taking risks but not with my investments so that's why risk management is key let's uplift ourselves as investors if you got any value out of this video i really appreciate if you just ever so slightly tap it smash it if you want and subscribe to the channel because i'll be making a lot more videos in the ev tool sector about drones, aerial vehicles, electric cars, disruptive technologies. That's my jam. That's what I love. Join the conversation. If you have more info about the company, don't be shy. Stay curious and I'll see you next time. Peace.